Can I mention how I don't like Sudoku? Oh, what? Okay, now what? I don't like that. <laughs> That's bollocks. Yes! That's it. Akane, did you get it? Yes, I did. I solved it. Well, I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did. Now I just have to press enter. And what the hell are you waiting for? Push it. Okay, I will. I hit the enter key. Emergency shutdown command has been acknowledged. Incineration system has been shut down. Jumpy! What's wrong? It worked! It worked! The incinerator shut down! It worked! Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were a very different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, what strength that I had left disappeared, and I collapsed to the floor. For a while, I just lay there, laughing and crying, and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. <sighs> I can't quite believe I did that. But I'm so glad. So glad. I... I feel like my heart's on fire. No. I don't have time to be thinking about that. I need to tell Akane. Akane! Sorry, but things are kinda busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now, okay? Oh, of course. That's fine. I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner of the floor. There were the two prays that Tango had left behind. Now, while well, Seven and Lotus look, don't look particularly happy with me, not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your lives, guys. Junbei, are you... okay? Ah, shut it. Right, okay. So, maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. So, what if I haven't pressed the Enter key yet? Alright, nothing holding me back now. Here goes. Wait. Automatic incineration will take place in 90 seconds. What? Uh, huh? It doesn't sound like it's stopping. Why isn't it stopping? Okay, maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again. And again. And again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell is going on? I've got all the right numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why isn't this thing stopping? Automatic incineration will take place in 60 seconds. Wait, 
Of course, that's what these numbers under the puzzle mean. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8. Snake, Clover, Me, 7, and Lotus. Then, door 9. No, that's it. That number on the door isn't a 9. It's not even a number. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a cube. What? Of course. And we just have to put the right number into the red and... Automatic incineration will take place in... 30 seconds. Run, guys! Get to the door! Run! Don't have much time. Man, I sure hope they can just trust me on this. We're all screwed. Alright, no time to explain. Just go. Quick! Verify your numbers on the red. Verify. Ooh. What combination? All of us. We all need to verify. Why? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it. Pull a Nike. Just do it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Automatic incineration will take place in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, face. This. Central gate has been opened. Incineration system has been disabled. <laughs> no. No time to be happy. Time to go. Hurry, we have only got nine seconds before the door closes. Go, go, go. Come on, guys, move it. Okay, they're all through. Move it, Junpei. Just in time. And there goes the door. No, don't calm you down yet. You're not done. You still gotta find the dead. Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> Man, that guy sure can laugh when he wants to. Looks like Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. I guess Snake probably can't see the sky, but he sure can't feel the fresh air. I just want to take a nap. Akane! Akane! Can you hear me? I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how... Good, I feel. But nothing. The door opened. Standing in front of it was my brother. Akane. I cried his name, even though my voice was almost gone from screaming, and leapt into his arms. Kane. I buried my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and cried and cried. The steady thump of his heart in my ear made me feel like I was at home. Its beat was almost like a lullaby. I wrapped my arms around him as far as they would go and held him as tight as I could. Just to be there felt like a miracle. I hadn't felt the warmth of another human body in what it seemed like an eternity. I just wanted to stay there in his arms forever, but I couldn't. The moment I passed through the door, my bracelets had begun to camp down to the death. I looked away from him and looked around. The door had already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. It took me only a moment to get to and scan all the bracelets. I left the ones Hongo had dropped on the scanner panel. That was it. <sighs> I took a deep breath and looked around again. The huge detective who we called Seven in nine years, and Snake, the blind boy, were looking at me. They seemed to have been utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. 
Their eyes were wide and their mouths hung open. Alright, let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. I was right. It was time we got moving. The mention of Hongo seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise, and they nodded. We took off running, up the spiraling stairs to freedom. Up, 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 up. Man, these stairs go on forever. But if they can get us out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe the real air again. Huh? Is Seven talking? Hey, Junpei, can I ask you something? What's up? That door with the nine on it. Why did it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers in the red. That makes our digital route eight. It shouldn't have opened. That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. Huh? Why? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base 2? 0 and 1? How about the base 10? That goes from 0 to 9, right? And how about base 16? 0 and F? And after 9 it starts at A and goes from there, B, C, D, etc. You're right. In other words, A in base 16 is 10 in base 10. B is 1, C is 12, D is 13, and so on. 11. So what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Yeah. All well, numerical digits are the same, so I guess you'd add out the critical digits. E is 14, F is 15, G is 16. H is 17, I is 18. J is 19. K is 20, L is 21, M is 22. N is 23, O is 24, B is 25. Yeah, and what comes up? Q, 26. What does that mean? That wasn't a 9 on the door. It was a Q. It was a lowercase Q. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess to put it another way. You could say that it was a 9 in base 10, but a Q in base 27. Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. I swear any moment now I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every single cell of my body is dying for air. Every th breath I take is chores now. It's a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest. No. Can't stop. Don't have time. Can't stop, won't stop. Come on, legs. There can't be eh, many more of these steps left. Let's run. Run. Like a bullet down a rifled barrel. Like a tornado cutting through a sea of clouds. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant dragon. Finally. Ah. Jesus, I can barely breathe. No, Junpei. No time for to rest. Pull yourself together. You're almost there. Alright. I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Yes. We're finally here. Please do. Sure, you look like a big, heavy door, but you're the only thing standing between me and my freedom. But even more important than that, you're the only thing standing between me and Akane. You're gonna open, and you're gonna open now. I felt a hand on my shoulder. He gave it a small, reassuring squeeze. I was so happy I felt like I could melt. My heart was at peace, and not only because my brother and I were back together again. Thanks to the huge detective, all nine of us who had escaped kidnapped were finally able to escape from the gigantic. On the distant horizon, we could see the faint outline of the ship as it sank. It gave a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. At last, its last cry echoed out across the ocean, and then it was gone. It's over, he whispered. Yeah. It was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? No, that was wrong. That wasn't it at all. I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue to what would happen in nine years.
Yes. Finally. Air. Ah. Damn, that sun is bright. Barely see anything. Huh. Gotta admit, this doesn't look quite like... Wait. No way. You have gotta be kidding me. What? It can't be. This is... They're in Nevada. <gasps> this is the building in the Nevada desert. Mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time we were in building Q. Ah, that's funny. Okay, you got me, game. Building Q and the Q door Q, man. Sure enough, that's a desert out there, with mountains all around it. Hello there, son. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a sunrise. Huh? Did I just hear something fall? Huh. Right. Bracelets. Guess I've never really got a look, a good look at the underside of these. Let's see what's inside you. Just a little electronic chip like an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. There was never a detonator to begin with. Figures. Akane. Jumpy. Yeah. Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl if I have... I think I'm hearing your voice in the wind.